Maiden, um, Mil Maiden, Mil Maiden all. Milden all. Milden Hall, Maiden Hall. Here. So it's Friday, um, my nose tomorrow and um, Sunday. Not gonna lie, we can't do Saturday, um, we can only do Sunday. So just trying to do a few bits. Yeah, we've left it right last minute, um, but we wanted a bit of a rest, so we've been um, camping. Had a few days away, um, just got on with some work um, and just doing it steadily now. Um, I'm hoping I didn't necessarily have to change the axle, but I'm going to do anyway. As long as it comes out alright. Um, but yeah, we've had quite a few weeks off. I think we're all probably wanting to go. Might not be as keen as some others, because from history speaking, uh, when we've had a rest, it's not normally been a good restart when we've gone back. But we'll see, you know. Um, we've got blue. We've held blue. We've been a strong blue all season, not just a holding on to it by chance we've we've missed out on reds a couple of times so let's just see whether we can get to end of year um as a blue or even by pure fluke red maybe um that would what i, I would class that as a fantastic season if that's where we get um but obviously we're gonna just run out of time um, we were hoping to do thursday saturday sun uh, thursday sunday monday at skeggy next week um but due to work issues um we're not being able to do it Thursday now, um, so again, that's another race we've lost as well as tomorrow. So let's just see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. But yeah, good to be back racing, um, and onwards and upwards. So that's my new Sealy heel mat, which is keeping me from getting knackered knees. Let's get on with this bad boy. Been a while since we were that colour. See there. Early morning from my door, so we obviously didn't race last night, um, but we travelled down um, last yesterday evening, got here for the night time, slept, and we're here ready early in the morning. So my door's quite unique, you can probably just see in the background, there's actually a motocross track just there, which is quite good. Lots of trees, it's a nice pit. Slight downfall to that last night is we were in the unique position, I don't know whether you'll see, of getting absolutely bitten to shite so we ended up having to hide in the van a little bit earlier than what we wanted to last night because while we were outside you could feel them literally just crawling on you biting the crap out of you so that was a little bit disappointing so we've woke up now we're just going to make some drinks make some porridge and see how the hell today goes got Ketty in there in his technical dream coat I close my eyes. Porridge time. Cheer up, misery. Oof. Early morning grumps. Sit there. Tell you I hope you want to be gracious today. Morning, morning, morning we Alright. Cheer up, morning. Fairly calm in the pits today though, there's not a lot of work going on.
So that's the end of race one. Um, we're going all right ish. Not great. Um, but then, long story short, we got an hit and this chain came off again, so we're continuing the problems from Northampton. Um, the alignment's right, the strength of it looks to be right, the teeth are all alright, so we've just tweaked it a little bit and see how it goes in this next race. But it seems that any little tap takes the chain off, and obviously, when your chain comes off, your race is done because your engine don't go anywhere. That's the downfall to chained engines. Um, all we can do is see how it goes this next race. We've done everything we can do, so if it comes off now, God knows, really. We've had this before, haven't we, when we first started the car? Yeah. Um, and there were some teeth on the clutch pulley that were damaged. Um, and when we took them off, you could see why. That ain't the case this time. But that went on for ages. It was spoiling races, even on tarmac with that. You did half a season, Chris. Yeah, I did half a season with, with that problem. So we really don't want to go back down the route of chain jumping off all the time. There's a few people that says that this new tyre doesn't help, but... Um, as far as I know, I will only one sat in middle way chain off, so can't be that bad, can it? Let's see. See there. Race two over, um, we finished just outside points, but we just balance the carts wrong. Um, by the way, we're in. Um, since this new shale tyre's on, you've got to restart how you set them up completely different, and we're just not getting it right. Uh, we're constantly wanting to spin round in circles. Back end were coming round on us, even going out straight. Um, me and another, you know, whoever are racing next to so we're coming out at straight side by side. They're putting the foot down, they're getting some grip and going. We're spinning or trying to spin round. So even even on straights, we didn't have the grip. We didn't have the car going straight. Um, and my arms are like the rocks arms from corners because we are drifting all the way around the top corner, whereas others aren't. So the balance is wrong. We've got a slight bit of damage to plug in on one side, but we ain't got time because we've been an eye factor. So we're just gonna have to do it. So we're just pumping some tires up on opposite sides to try and rebalance the car and see what it works um, but shale just isn't our, our fan at the moment we did all right at Bradford but that's because that is quite a fast big track for shale it's smooth it's a bit more tarmac-y tarmac-esque should we say um, but yeah we used to be um, I know we've only raced two seasons now full season but last season we were good on shale we did well this season has been absolute dog so we've gone from liking to go to shale tracks to not liking them at this rate so at least we finished that one, chain didn't come off, we did take a couple of taps and hits, so the tweaks we did might have done it, but we'll not get cocky yet. Um, next race is tarmac, so I'll be glad to see tarmac at the moment really. Um, just need to get it all set up right and see how it goes. So there.
Yo, it's a video for race three. As you can tell, we're not outside at track anymore. Um, so race three, we just got completed, got loaded up and came home as quick as we could. So we didn't get time to do um, a video. So I'll do race three and a conclusion all in one. So race three, we did a few changes. Um, race one and two, we had a lot of problems with it just spinning. Just couldn't get the um, any pace. Um, we didn't actually spin round once. I was constantly just going opposite way. But that's all it wanted to do. So even down straights, we weren't getting any straight line speed. We were just too slow. Um, so they were just naff races really. So we changed a few things for race three. Um, and after three laps, we dropped four places again. It was slightly better, but it was still just trying to kick round, which was really annoying. I've driven on shale, I've driven on wet, I've done drifting in a proper car and everything. So I'm not stupid and I, you know, I was good enough to not let it go all the way around. But that's all it wanted to do. It was just trying to kick its back out all the time, even down straights. You just couldn't get any power, even if you feathered it. So it was really annoying me. So it was a little bit better in race three, but then we had a start restart. Um, a bit down out in, in this restart because we started literally as the last car in the restart. And I thought, well, we're going, we're just going backwards here. We're just wasting his time. It was really frustrating. But during this restart, the track dried out just a smidge, just enough. Wow, let's just put it that way. So we ended up with the third fastest um, lap of the day. When the track dried out, our car came into its own. We absolutely smashed it. We took 11 positions in six laps. Um, it was like other people were just stood still. I don't know what the hell happened after such a crap day. It just came really good. So, moral of the story is, it's still a quick car and we've done a few changes to it right with the setup for dry and tarmac and even wet tarmac we're just not getting wet shale at all um, this new tire has affected the whole balance of the car to make it worse is we're insisting on wetting the tracks because of this new tire which i don't think the tire is good enough to warrant wetting the tracks um, it grips but i'm not sure it, it, i don't know we might as well just leave the tracks as they were and not run the tire in my opinion um, but that's another story but either the balance on the cart is wrong but yet yeah, we've done all kinds of stuff to try and get the balance right and it doesn't seem to be working so where do we go and you can't practice so you're practicing on the day and you don't have a lot of time or the tires actually better than we think and the tire is gripping and because the other three tires aren't as grippy because they're just tarmac tires it's just spinning and it would make sense because the back tire the tarmac tire is the one that's kicking it round all the time so are all the other three tires just not grippy enough and we're sort of the wet tracks good for that one but then we're spoiling the other three it just i don't i just don't get it i i would love to go back to the original tire and just not wet the tracks as such i just think it's a, a bit fairer a bit decent um, and i just don't think we're going to get the setup right without being able to practice on wet shale so, you know, if anyone wants to get a wet day on shale and try and get a track, I'd love to do that if we're going to insist on doing this. But I just can't get made around that back tyre. I think there's that tyre now possibly grips too much and the other three aren't strong enough and that's why it's just kicking around. Not everyone's having the same problem though, so the balance of my car could be wrong, but I just don't know what else we can do. We tried all kinds of stuff. Um, but moral of the story is we got a six in a final, so that was double points. It made good of what was a bad weekend to then um, and the cart was quick on dry so hopefully for skeggy if we can just tarmac it up get it all sorted check everything's good i'm hoping we'll have some good pace skeggy's problem next week so we've got bank holiday we always get a big crowd so it's going to be going to be good but we have got a hell of a lot of races on there so results could be absolutely anything absolutely anything i think there must be 15 whites which is nuts so from blue i'm going to be starting in 20s um so to get any results will be pretty damn good going at skeggy really case of keeping out at mess um but other than that yeah um on another note dawn's um tdr racing um car wasn't even ready unfortunately so she's hoping it's going to be ready for skeggy but we'll have to see how that goes because um, you know these things take time it was very damaged so Dawn might not be there she certainly didn't do my dinner um, but other than that again thanks to all my friends and family for helping out all my sponsors that's my dinner like I said Skeggy trebles next we can't do the Thursday but we will be doing the Sunday and bank holiday Monday in front of a big crowd so it's time to get the cart sorted now 
um, and let's try and keep this blunt top going. TDR, see So I'm sure you've seen before in my vlogs that I tend to watch some vlogs from a kid called Tanner Holmes. I always find him really interesting, only a young lad and his sister that actually race sprint cars and um, outlaw carts, which are a bit like ours as such. Um, good news is, obviously, I, I did order some t-shirts from him quite a bit since. And look what's turned up. All the way from America, we have got... Be rocking something a bit different compared to most people at the oval tracks and the piece of resistance to go in my van sign photo that's mint so don't know if you know a lot about sprint cars and stuff like that but his vlogs are well worth a watch on youtube and he has just randomly gone from a regional racer um, to get in a ride in the world of outlaws, so he's at the highest level there is now and doing pretty well, so Give him a watch Thank you